Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create a lyric video. Like you guys have seen in the intro, we're going to recreate that and all kinds of things around that. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash that like button down below as usual. Subscribe if you're new. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are in Vegas Pro right now. And what I have first up lined up is this nice background that we're going to use as the background, obviously. So a lyric video is basically a song and then the lyrics of that of that song are just popping up or flying by or anything related to that so what i'm going to do now is first of all drag in the song that we're going to use it is by no copyright sounds it is called dreams part two i'm going to drag that in okay so this is a song that we're going to use and then we have some lyrics right here All right, so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna drag that onto the actual, um, as you can see, background. So then what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna make sure that the background is long enough. So I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this. But as you can see, if I play this back, and if I play back the preview, if it's going to start over again, it's gonna hop to the first one, as you guys noticed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the second clip and I'm gonna hit reverse. So if I play it back, as you can see, it is going to start back in reverse. This is the reverse part, boom, it goes back. That's how you can fix that and that's how you can make it like an infinite loop so i'm gonna just copy those and i'm going to i'm not gonna do the full song but just the first verse so you guys know how it works so then i'm gonna just copy and paste this a couple of times so we know that we'll have a background for the entire video okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is i want to keep this video under 15 minutes but what i want to do is i'm not gonna just show you guys only how to you know animate the text and everything but other things as well for example that glowing that you saw at the bottom so i'm gonna just go ahead and drag in a glow glow image it is a png so it is transparent so i want to have the glow appear on the notes of the song right here that's what we wanted to recreate so what we're going to do first of all go to the track motion icon of the glow we're going to make it a lot bigger like that and then we're going to just position this at the bottom like that so then we're going to make sure that we will put the x to zero so that it is nice and centered then we're going to just crop this down to the length of the notes like that and then we're going to add in a fade out as you can see that looks really nice you just want to time it and then you just want to go ahead and copy and paste it and do that on every single note. And then we're going to create a new video track because they're following up each other a little bit faster. And 
so that's the, basically the whole idea. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing this for like 15 minutes uh, straight for every single note. That is how you do that. And then as you can see, these three fast notes, so go ahead and make that a little bit shorter and paste it after each other. So that's how you do that. So this is basically what the first couple of seconds will look like, but you have to do that for the entire video. As you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these. I'm gonna focus on the lyrics because this is mainly how to make a lyric video. But if you guys were wondering like how I did that glow at the bottom, that's basically how I done it. We're gonna go to the media generator tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see titles and text. Now some fonts Vegas Pro will not catch because they're downloaded externally. So I'm going to pick the legacy text one, then drag on the default onto your timeline. Very simple. And then what we need to do is basically look up the lyrics of this song. Okay, so right here we are on Google and I'm just going to look up the song Lost Sky Dreams Part 2 Lyrics. Okay, so then we can see the first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first verse like that. Then I'm going to open up a Word file. And then in Word, I'm going to just paste it. Then I'm going to start off with the first one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Vegas Pro. And I'm going to place it in. Right here, it says My Heart. So then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. For example, 50. That's great. And then I'm just going to look up a nice font that will actually suit this video. This is like an NCS song. So we're not going to pick like a metal kind of ish font. So I'm just going to for example or scroll down a little bit until I found a nice font that suits this song. For example, this one, then I'm going to hit effects because I want to have a little, little bit of an outline. I'm going to obviously make that outline uh, black and also some shadow right here. So I'm going to check the drop shadow. So this is what it looks like. So it looks really nice. I'm going to also make it uh, just a little bit bigger. I'm going to put that one to 60 like that. And then what we can do is go to the track motion icon on the left of the track of this of the text. And then we can change the source alpha to 3D source alpha. So we can actually tilt it as you can see like that sideways. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just tilt it a little bit like that. And then maybe, for example, a little bit to that. So it has kind of a depth kind of feel. Then what we're going to do is first time it. My heart. Okay, so here is where it starts. So I'm going to play it back. My My heart. And then when she goes to the next sentence, I'm going to just cut that and delete it. So then we're going to animate the first one. So first I'm going to hit the event pan crop and I'm gonna first make the my heart go come up from the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this icon until it says move in Y only. We're gonna drag this guy down until it's out of the screen. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So when it's out of the screen, you wanna just place, for example, your keyframe or a marker right here and then right click and hit restore so it pops up from the bottom. My heart rages. So then what we can do is make it move, like just make it float. So what you want to do is just go ahead and place a keyframe, for example, right here, and then just go ahead and place this one to move to freely. And then we can just, for example, place it right there, move up a keyframe like that, just position it, for example, now to the other side like this, boom. And then for the other keyframe in this corner, so it goes, it's just floating a little bit. So this is what it looks like. My heart. But if you want to have it slower, you can just place these keyframes further out of each other. And then you can also make the movements a little bit less visible, for example, like that. So I'm going to do it like this, boom. And then for also for the last keyframe like that. So this is what it looks like for the first two words. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head. Okay, so then what we need to do is just copy this layer because we're not going to pick the font again. We're not going to do the outline again, the shadow again. We're just going to copy this. So then control C, control V, and then we're going to place the second lyrics onto the second file. So go back to our word file and then we're going to pick this one like that. Then we're going to copy it, go back to Vegas, and then we're going to just paste it in. Okay, so now we have the second one in. What we're going to do is we're going to make that in two lines. So I'm going to pick, for example, rages around like an ocean in my head. So we're going to pick in my head is going to be below that like that, as you can see. Rages around like an ocean in my head. 
So then what we can do is we can just position it by going to the event pan crop as well and we can just change uh, for example the, the positions and for example also remove the going up as you can see but you can also make that appear from the top by just going to the opposite side like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these keyframes around again uh, just to make it a little bit different than the first one because we don't want to have this exact same movements all over again. So this is what it looks like for this second word my, or sentence. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head. So that looks really, really cool. So then what we can do, the next thing is actually move up to the next sentence. So, and then I'm going to pick only one word just because of like a little bit of detail. So then I'm just gonna copy the second one and then I'm going to make it only because of uh, the word because, because like that. And we're gonna remove the R like this. And then we're gonna cut it because the next sentence starts right here. Then go to the event pen crop and you can also make that a little bit bigger. And you can just, for example, also decide to make it appear from the side like this. So then I'm going to also change the keyframes. That looks really nice. So this is what we have in total. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head because there are. And then we have there are. And we can also copy that from a word file. Copy and paste this one. There are. So this is what we have. So many things that I left is coming up now like that. Just copy and paste it. So many things that I left. I'm just going to type that in, separate that in two sentences. So I'm going to so many things that I left. I'm going to also make it just a little bit smaller again. For example, 42. There are so many things that I left. And then we have unsaid. And what we can do is when we're gonna just insert the last word, for example, the unsaid, we can just make that go up and zoom into the screen real slow. So that would that would be a nice idea. So I'm just gonna type in the word unsaid. Then I'm going to go to the event pan crop of that text file, like you guys know. And then I'm going to press restore. And I'm gonna zoom out all the way because it's gonna zoom in all the way in. So now I'm going to delete all the keyframes and then we can just move this guy around just a little bit as well to make it float. And then this is basically what it looks like. Okay guys, so that's how you do it. This is how you animate the text onto a lyric video. So this is basically with the lights included with the little, you know, blue glows at the bottom included. This is basically the end result. And you can also just add in that music visualizer that I just downloaded from YouTube or anything like that. So this is basically the end result. Guys, check out my new favorite channel. It is so good. Oh my God, look at it. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial, the last one of this week. And in this video, we're gonna do something really, really cool. And I'm smiling because I had to think of the intro. That was something I just had to do because in this video, we're gonna see how to make any clip, you know, or how to take any character out of any video and turn that into a green screen kind of, you know, just that it's gonna be transparent. So if you are excited for this tutorial, Make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say I'll catch you guys obviously right after the intro.
Okay, so right now we're on Vegas Pro 16 and right here I have the clip of a man and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this guy look like it's, you know, he's standing in front of a green screen. So what we're gonna do first of all is see how long the video is and that is probably, I assume, about, I don't know, 15 seconds maybe, like 13 seconds. So what we need to do now is decide like it won't, if we want to use the entire clip or just a bit of it. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this clip just to keep this video relatively short because otherwise this video would be 15 minutes and this is something I can show you guys in like five or six minutes. So what I need to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this guy down until it is about, I don't know, maybe like three seconds long. So then what we need to do is mask this guy out frame by frame. So I'm just gonna click on the the event pan crop icon and we need to pick mask at the very bottom pick the anchor creation tool this one mask out this man completely and then what we need to do is move up frames and then i'm just going to show you guys exactly how it works so let me mask out this guy real quick So this man is now fully masked out and what we need to do now is basically move up frame by frame and mask him out again because we're not tracking anything so we cannot do this automatically you know with the future in Vegas 16 where you can actually like automatically add all those keyframes that does it for you it's not gonna work in this case because there's nothing to track just move up frames until he moves so I'm just gonna click on the next frame button and then I'm just gonna go ahead and see where he is actually moving okay Okay, I think I'm kind of lucky because this man is standing like very still. So if I play this back, there's not too much to mask. If you look at the top left on his head, you will see that if he moves, it kind of shows that little edge. So that's something we have to obviously adjust. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this box a little bit smaller so you guys also can see. And make sure to just hold my left control and adjust these keyframes. That's basically how I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna move up a few keyframes until the edge is showing again. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna play it back. And I think this clips look very, very, very nice. Obviously, if I, you know, around this part, as you can see on the top of his head, there's a little bit of edges coming through, but if you just spend, I don't know, like 10 more minutes on this, it would look actually perfect, but so you guys know how it works. So what we need to do now is we need to just add in a green part of the video or just a green screen in general. So I'm gonna hit the media generator tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see solid color and it doesn't necessarily have to be green it can be anything as long as it is just a nice even color so we can just pick red but this green is the obvious color for green screen and masking and everything like that so if I drag it in and if I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down this is basically what it looks like and now you can have this man transparent on any video it is that simple the only thing you need to do now is just render out this guy and then you can just add in the chroma key and then this man will be transparent and this works for any other clip guys doesn't really matter which one it is okay so I'm gonna probably get questions about how to actually remove the green as well so I'm gonna show you guys that on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and render this out completely and then I'll come back to you in a second when this finished rendering okay so in the video has finished rendering I just dragged in a thumbnail of a video of mine so I can show you guys how it works so so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we'll place the green screen clip on top of the video so then we're gonna hit the event effects button we're gonna scroll down until we see the chroma key Key. then we're gonna pick the default one just drag that on top of the clip what you need to do then is uncheck it for a second then you want to pick this color bar then you want to pick this icon and then we're gonna pick a green part of the video so then what we need to do is just go ahead and recheck it and as you guys can see the guy is transparent and that's how simple it is you can obviously mess around with it like the low threshold and the high threshold you know to optimize it and to get rid of any edges or anything like that so guys if I play it back this is what it looks like it is that simple the man is moving this is how you take any video and turn that into a green screen or how to you know mask out the object or the person in it so that's it guys thank you so much for the continued support i will see you guys on monday with brand new videos as usual so i'll see you guys next week